Alright, hello friends. Welcome back to a new episode of Super Mario Flash Hard. Um, today we're gonna tackle more of World 6. I got Mario bouncing on my shoulder. Let's see how long I can keep my little Mario childhood plush on my shoulder. Because why not? Um, well, we're already dead. That's it. That's not how we always start these episodes. Just dying right at the start. <laughs> um... So this, I remember this level a little bit. This is World 6-2. I haven't even been calling out the names. I think in the description I called it like Questionnaire Maze or something weird like that. And oh yes, okay, so see that star that's bouncing in the corner right next to my 396 lives? That was from the last episode. I had to go and get more lives. What we want to do is hit the P-switch so that we can not get the star out of there and we can use it to progress. So it's a little bit of a blind timing thing. Sometimes the switch gets out of the way or something. Um, not out of the way, but it gets stuck. Yeah, it, 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 it gets uh, smashed by the blocks. But we want to be quick here. I believe there's some extra switches. I think we can grab one there. I think that's for on the way here. You might have seen this one from the trailer. I don't know why I'm calling all these moments from the trailer. Let's see if we can grab you. Oh gosh, okay. Oh man, we're, we're doing okay. Oh, I shouldn't have gone for the feather. Should not have gone for the feather. Let's go. Go. How close were we? Oh, one more jump. One more jump. <laughs> but yeah, this level reminds me of um that other star level we were playing. We can't get a lot of lives here, though. That's kind of nice. Just all of the enemies that are here. Okay, um, grab this star. And grab the switch. This time we will not go for the feather. We'll not take the bait this time around. And we'll jump. Oh no. Okay, we've lost it. It's, a, it's game over. Any faster? But we can't jump up there, can we? No. Shoot. Alright. Tap number. Who knows? <laughs> Yeah, so that's 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 something that can happen. Is the no Mario <laughs> in the game? He's falling in the game and in real life. Um, yeah, that's something that can happen. Is that the star can get like trapped in a block, basically. So it's kind of a little bit of a lucky dip in terms of if you actually get it or not. Um, but this time we were luckily able to. Okay, let's see if we can do this for the third time, or that I've gotten to this section at least. Okay, um, so let's grab our star. At least that block disappeared. The P switch is still activated. Kill these guys. Jump up here. Grab this star just for the safety. Defeat these guys. Oh, uh oh, okay. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, um, hurry, grab the star, grab the star, grab the star, Mario. No, 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 no. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, that was that was helpful. For that star to kind of just bounce right towards Mario. Thank you, star. Um, okay, it's a little hard to see what's going on in that bit. Um, so we just kind of hope that we get it. Uh, there is that block there, but that's not really useful. I think we just want to get this one. Okay. Here's here's another chance here. So let's grab it. Okay. Focus here. Got it. Nailed it. And now, this next bit um, is going to be tricky with as big Mario, so I'm I'm okay with uh, falling down there. Let's give that another attempt. Okay. So we hit the three switch. Yeah, we just got a very quick jumps. Um, uh, okay, ignore, okay, this is not, ignore those, okay. Can I at least see what's in this block, or maybe not be able to make it? Okay. Actually, let me, I just, just want to see if I can see, that's yeah, okay. Oh, I could have hit this, like, whatever. We, we got a little bit of, we, we, we know what we need to do now. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of exploration, trial and error to figure out what's going on. Okay. 
don't need to- those are just there as, uh, as oh, okay. What do we have to do to use it? Okay. I don't, we're not gonna get very far, but we're at least gonna see what we have coming up. So some more spike jumps. Yeah. Okay, so it's just gonna be, a, a, again, a more, more of a timing challenge. What do we want to do? What's our, what's our play here? Do we want to jump on that? I think maybe, I think, don't even grab that second piece. Let's just jump on it. What's the point? There's nothing up ahead that requires it, is there? I think it's just spikes. We want to jump on the switch, grab the star, and run. Yes, yeah, so jump here. We can kind of take our time a little bit. We have plenty of time, but once we grab the star, that's when we want to book it. Okay, we want to do that faster. We need to find out ways we can save time. Um, okay, grab that. That would be useful, though. If if we can hold on to the... If we can book it for the people, that would help us grab that second star. Okay. So we're getting a little bit of ideas. Oh, boy. Sorry about my, my furnace and all the basement noises and stuff from the previous episodes. What I did was I moved my iPad further from the computer, so hopefully that will work out okay. Okay, yeah, that's, see what I mean by that? You can grab that second star quickly. Okay, we made it. We're still alive. Okay, we gotta go. Oh, I believe the ending is right up there. We have plenty of time, too. Plenty of time. So I'm really focusing here. Let's see. Jump, jump. Okay. Oh no. There's another twist. Of course there's another twist. Um. So we do have to keep booking it. Oh. What a mean thing. Okay, so we need to run. We need to grab the switch. Okay, we need to jump. Grab the star. And we need to make it. Okay, so it is possible. We, a, there's no way to, no time to run. I love if you do fail though, you can come back to the earlier section to grab some extra lives here. It's pretty fun. And you got, you know, you got the checkpoint, so there's no, no penalty. <laughs> okay. Well, now we know what we need to do. We need to, we need to book it. There's no resting. Oh, barely. Oh! Okay. Okay. So nervous, gonna mess up. Okay, hit the pink switch. Yes! You did it! You cannot mess up a single frame in there. I I'm sure there's like some tiny room for error. I'm sure you can do a little bit of room for wiggle room. That's tough. <laughs> We're getting to the hard stages here, folks. All right, let's see. I'm, I'm no promises, but let's see if we can finish off World Six in today's episode. So this is quite a this is a very interesting ghost house level. I don't think we've had we've had the one ghost house level, but not since then. Um, I do remember. So there's just all these ghosts here. I think I even kind of referenced Pac-Man <laughs> a little bit. Maybe you can kind of see that with the ghosts being like Pac-Man, I guess. Oh, and then we have all those guys. Oh boy. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see if we can grab what's in here. A feather. Not sure if it's a required feather. Am I gonna be able to get through these ghosts? Nope. So, one of the, because I didn't do the best, let's just double check. Any, is there any point in coming up here? Don't think so. I think we actually want to hold on to that piece, which. Um, let's just see. Oh, I didn't have my star anymore. I'm pretty sure you want to hold, hold on to that piece, Wish. I'm pretty sure that's just a troll thing. Okay. Do some crunches while we wait for the mushroom. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you do it when you're, when, you're, when you're at a restaurant and you're waiting for your food. <laughs> just do some crunches. <laughs> That'll get you fit. You can eat whatever you want. <laughs> Is that how it works? Eh, okay, alright. Okay, well, let's at least see what's ahead here. So, I think we can just honestly just go on these plat- Oh, now we can- I don't remember this being an issue. But then again, I, I knew exactly what to do before. Okay. I, th I thought we could plat platform up top. I guess we just have to avoid these. Okay, here we go. 
Um, so, oh yeah, so, so here we can... More timing, I guess. We can hit there. Head up this way. Oh, okay, we're still alive. Alright, I thought we were dead. More spikes, and of course I have no items. Um... Okay, down. That was left or right. Oh, is this... Invisible block? <laughs> little, little trolly invisible block here. Um, so it's not like the invisible box in like actual Mario, it's a little bit different because it's just a sprite, I think. Also a little bit interesting how now we can like collect the items and collect the coins that we're going to use as platforms earlier on. Um, again, more of this platforming, now we're up here. Oh, oh good, the check checkpoint's floating. And now, we get to this bit. <laughs> This I remember spending ages on when I was playing this kind of first one earlier, where it's literally just all these guys coming after Mario, you gotta keep jumping, jump, and there's just lots of things you just gotta avoid, and I have no items, so I can't damage boost at all, we're just gonna have to do it, but we'll use this as an attempt to see what's coming best we can, okay. We're not right here, actually. We just want to go slowly, as slow as we can. Because those spike things are annoying. Okay, so we want to we wanna try that route. Going a little bit slower, I think. But, I will say, and this is something I noted, <laughs> what happened there, when I was playing, I was playing this in like 2018 or something, um, I will say it's kind of well designed, this section. Like, obviously the whole level, this has nothing to do with what came previously. Obviously I wasn't really focused on that. But, um, for a level, for how it ramps up in difficulty, like how we add a hothead that's kind of acts in the same way, the dry bones are kind of, um, there, and then their kind of next evolution of the dry bones are the, these annoying spiky things. I think it's actually not that badly in terms of design. It's actually not too bad. Yeah, I think it, we can also play with how they end up spawning into the room. Okay. I don't. This is that's a bad. That's a mistake. Don't don't go for that. <laughs> don't go for the. We want we want to see what we're doing. We don't want to do a blind jump if we can help it. So one thing I think is that I think they're their eeries. I think is what their official name is. Because, uh, that's what I'm saying, we can play with how they spawn in. They only spawn, they don't spawn like normally, they're, they're not like an endless wave. Um, the tricky thing, I think, is just all these other enemies in the way. Oh, okay. 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 Ah. Oh. You're making good progress there. Imagine if you didn't think to jump to the checkpoint. And like, imagine you got far in this section, but you didn't know there was a checkpoint, and you had to go through the beginning bit again. But that's honestly partly the design of this, like, Kaizo sort of level, is that they're kind of... I don't know. What I was thinking anyways. Oh man, I knew that guy was showing his spikes. Okay. Sorry, I am focusing out on my here. Okay. Okay, so that one's gonna show its spikes, that one's gonna come. We're just gonna go nice and slow. Oh, 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 oh. I shouldn't have jumped. I should have lured that ghost. Oh man, I'm determined. I also I almost wanna just move on. <laughs> okay, what we'll do. I'll tell you what. We'll count that as a partial win. And we'll come back. And we'll clear it for real. <laughs> I think... I think I'm about... Had it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, risky. Risky. Risky! Man, I'm determined. I'm so determined. <laughs> I'm not even, like, frustrated. It's just, like... We're gonna do this. Like, this is definitely within our grasp. Like, it's not unfair at all. It's 
completely fair. Well, okay. Questionably fair because of the hitboxes of some of these things. But, like, that was definitely my fault. I could have. I mean. <laughs> I don't know, but it's interesting to think about how I created this game in, like, 2013, anyways. Like, if you think about, like, Mario Maker YouTubers playing, like, other people's levels, you know? Um. You know, it's often like you don't know what to, what to expect, you know. Um, you could get crazy stuff like this, you can get easier stuff, you know. This is obviously like in the, probably this expert, super expert realm maybe, um, of Mario Maker. But obviously I made it before Mario Maker and a lot was different in terms of like gaming and everything. And so it's just interesting to come back to this game now and like be replaying it today. And... Um, yeah. I think, I think the main thing I was kind of trying to mention about that is just like, with Mario Maker YouTubers, they're playing other people's levels, so they can, might be failing over and over on, on something, um, but it's not their levels. And with this, because it's my levels, it, you might think, oh, I might be able to do better. But... <sighs> the tricky thing is, is that... Um, even though it's my levels, I feel like I don't really remember them all. I don't remember exactly every enemy I placed. I don't remember exactly what I did. Even with that super world that I live streamed, like I didn't remember like world seven and eight when I went back to them later on, you know. And so it's like I don't know. It's just interesting. Okay, I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna move on. It's so addicting though. I can't just I can't stop. But I think I have to move on for my sanity. <laughs> Okay, so as promised, I do want to still try to complete World 6, because then it'd be nice to start off, for me, recording, but also just for the next episode, we can start off in the World 7. So this is actually, and I'm actually pretty confident I can do this in fewer attempts than the other one. So we want to use these platforms to go down, and we want to grab this feather, which will help us out. Actually, I actually don't think the feather's required, but it's nice. The required thing is to take the piece of it, which to kind of go back in on ourselves and come back into this section here and oh we do need the feather actually so okay well we don't want to do that <laughs> we want to you see you saw that koopa up there we want to bounce on top of those guys this first jump is quite tricky too okay so we actually kind of want to wait for that platform to go and now that he's there there we go. Okay, and what you see the checkpoint there? We just want to hold to the right. And yeah, the left land down there. Now just some cloud platforms to traverse to make it up to the checkpoint. I think I liked the fact because you can set where uh, Mario spawns after he hits a checkpoint. It's kind of fun to hide them because you know they're so desired upon. Okay, is this for, um, what's his face is? Um, oh yes it is, here he is. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there's two of them, that's not fun. Oh no. Alright. Well, I'm good. <laughs> I, I am curious, because Boom Boom was right at the beginning, I am curious to see... I'm sorry if this means that technically we don't meet any level. Why did I go back this way? In this episode, technically we didn't. I know. Um, yeah, <laughs> this isn't really... I am curious to see, if we fall down here, can we just avoid these? Yeah, there's, there seems like there's more stuff past the boom. We, we could take out the ones at the beginning, like the, four, uh, the beginning ones, but what else is there? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm jumping just to see what's over here. There is some stuff over here. Nothing too exciting though. Okay. Well, good to know. So, we technically beat this level. I know. I know this is controversial. Find more viewers. I would try harder. <laughs> but I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of good to leave it there. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> this game is getting a little bit tough. Um, in the next episode, we'll start at World 7. So we have two more worlds of the main game to go, and they are 
they're a doozy. They get they get pretty tricky. So we'll see how far we can get. And then once we complete 8-4, um, we'll go through some of the special levels, which can be, which I think the idea behind those is they get to to not just uh, normal Mario platforming. Some of them are just kind of normal Mario platforming, but then they I start to test out. Some of the limits, I think, a little bit of this engine. Obviously, there's only so much you can do. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me for this series. I hope you're enjoying it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!